Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have another Etsy planner supplies haul to share with you. I've got all sorts of planner related goodies. I've got some clips, I've got some washi, I've got some stickies, and of course I have plenty of stickers. I will leave timestamp links below for all of the different shops in case you only wanna see you know, certain parts. And I'll also leave the links to the shops themselves below. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with planner clips. And this is actually my first order from a new to me shop called Green and Lime. And being fully honest with you guys, I have already totally started to use these clips as you can see. I just got some of her little clips. She um, has an, a Shopify site or just like her own site. And for and on her site, she does sell other things besides clips. I think she does sell her own line of planners. She also does wholesale sells, selling of Simply Gilded Washi and Pen Gems. So that's pretty cool. So you could kind of combine those. But I was really attracted to her. She has these totally unique um, gold paperclip designs. And a lot of them are ex original designs, she says. So I think that is awesome. They do come packaged like this. So I saved the packaging to show you guys. But I've already started using all of these. But I realized I had forgotten to put them in a haul so I wanted to share them with you guys um, in case you were seeing them on Instagram we're like where did those come from Holly um, but anyway they do come wrapped like this they're really really nice quality they're really sturdy um, really really cute and I just love all of the way that she designs all of this I'd actually heard of her originally um, I won one of her clips Fox and Pip like in her anniversary sale like this was one of the like sponsors of the goodie bag so that was pretty cool um, but I had never placed an order from her until now. So I did pick up just a few different clip designs. She has a lot on her website, but I just picked out ones that I thought were kind of meaningful and fun for me. So this first up one is this really cute little cup of coffee with the heart in it. I love that. And then this one you saw in the packaging is actually like a page flip, a page flag. So let me grab my invoice. And I can show you what these will look like on papers too. So here's the page flag and it kind of goes over. So it actually just looks like that. So cute. Here's the coffee cup. And then next up I picked up her ampersand. I thought this was awesome. I love ampersands. I just think they're awesome. Um, and they're just a really cute, they're a design I like a lot. There's what the ampersand looks like. Then I got the love one. I believe this is done in her own handwriting. Um, and it's so beautiful, so delicate and so pretty. Oh wait, let me get this on the right side here. So cute, right? And then of course I had to pick up the glass of wine and the wine bottle, cause you guys know me. So really, really cute. These just look adorable. Um, I like them even just as like Instagram background, but I think they look adorable to like mark your page in your traveler's notebook or something like that. So those are the six clips I picked up from Green and Lime. And then next up is a small order from an old favorite clip shop, and that is the Creative Bee Shop. She had some new releases, and I went ahead and just picked up some of these that are kind of more spring and summer themed. I tried not to go too crazy because I do have a lot of her clips already, but there are just a few that I knew would coordinate with kits that I'm using this spring and summer, and I was like, I gotta grab them. So first up, I picked up this amazing fox. I believe she actually designed this specifically to go with the Two Little Bees um, Hello Spring kit, and I had already, I've already used that kit, but honestly, I dug this out of the, I had this already when I used it, and so I did use it that week um, to hold my place, um, but then I just put it back in the packaging to show you guys. So I've already used this one too, but I thought that little fox is so cute and it doesn't just have to go with that two little bees kit. I think it could go really awesome with a lot of different spring and summer's kits because it does have that pink glitter and those pink and yellow and um, aqua uh, florals on the top. And then I got her roses. I love her roses. I think they're so pretty. I didn't have a ton of summery colored clips. So I went ahead and picked up this one in the yellow and with the yellow rose and the green leaves and leaves and the um, yellow, the rose is in a yellow glitter as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just think that that will go with a lot of different kits without being like over the top summery. Um, and I thought these were pretty cute. 
And then I picked up this smaller rose and loved this print. I honestly did not have something in mind that I wanted to use this for, I just really liked it. Um, so this is her mini rose and this has a gold glitter over top of that really pit pretty pink and floral, or pink and teal floral print on the rose itself. And then I did go ahead, I thought this one was so cute for summer, the little palm leaf. You, I've mentioned to you guys, I'm not planning on doing a ton of like summery, um, kits and stuff like I'm not super into like flamingos and super bright colors and things like that but I do have some that are palm themed and I also just thought in general that it'd be fun you'll see from another shop I did pick up some more summery themed kits because I just thought that's like a fun way to add a summery touch without like having to stare at really bright colors all week I don't know if that makes sense um, but I thought this palm leaf is so cute and I already know a couple spreads that I want to use this with um, and as always all the um, creative bee clips they are like a cardstock backing and they have the gold these all have the gold paper clips. Um, these are fairly fragile in my experience, so I wouldn't like put these on your personal planner to hold the page and then you know chuck it around in your bag. But for planner that stays on your desk or um, on inside pockets, I think these hold up pretty well. So love all of Melissa's stuff, and I am excited to use these clips. So next on to another favorite clip shop. This is Lovely Little Planners and these are the kind of summery ones I was talking about. So Courtney did a release that was um, a set of kind of four summery themed clips that came like kind of as a kit. And I know some of you guys are probably gonna make fun of me because I have said specifically I don't want like a ton of flamingos and a ton of pineapples, but like I was saying, I think they're actually a cute way to add a summery vibe to maybe just more of like a basic floral spread. Um, I can just stick a clip on it and then I'm not like, but then the whole spread doesn't have to be flamingo themed. I don't know if that makes sense. And honestly, let's be real. This clip in particular was the real reason I got that kit. I was or that um, set because I am obsessed with this clip. I think it is so freaking cute. This is the Lovely Little Planners um, succulent kind of cactus one. And I love the colors of this. I love the shape. I just think this is so fun. Again, Lovely Little Planners is one that does do kind of cardstock. So same as before. I wouldn't necessarily put this on something I'm gonna put in my bag, but um, for something at home, I think it's totally cute. And I just loved this. I just thought this was so fun. And then it came with this really cute little tiki one. Um, I think this is just a lot of fun for summer. I'm not gonna unwrap all of these, but it has the little floral drink and the funny little face and the brown glitter on there. And then I will take the flamingo one out because I think this is really, I actually like this flamingo. I think it's cute. Um, it's, I like that it's a slightly darker pink and then the wing is that like uh, light pink glitter. And then the beak, I don't know if you can tell, is a, is a white glitter. Um, and I just think that's actually really cute despite like I said, not loving flamingos. And then here is the pineapple. I actually like this a lot as well. I have some really cute pineapple washi. So maybe I should get over my pineapple aversion. I actually love pineapple the fruit, but this also has those touches of glitter. So the stripes are a yellow glitter and the leaves have the green glitter on top. These are just so cute, really nice, really nicely designed, really nicely made. And then finally, so I picked up that four piece summer kit and then I also picked this one up because I have a few swan themed things in my life lately. And so I wanted to get this and incorporate those with those kits and, um, and whatever other swan things I'm gonna do. I just thought this was so pretty, so delicate. I love the rose gold glitter crown and the feathers. I just think this is really, really cute. And so yeah, I think this is a really good assortment of summer paper clips. I feel between this and the Creative Bee, I don't feel like I need too many more summer themed ones. So um, I think, but I just wanted like a little bit of updates to my clip collection for summer. And then I do have another clip order here from a new to me shop, which is Sugar and Ivy. And I have seen her in uh, Kiara, who's the Paper Princesses haul before. And honestly, I used, like I've opened up her Etsy shop and like on her storefront on Etsy. And I've just been so overwhelmed by it because she has like 1300 clips and everything comes in a clip or a lanyard or a badge holder. Like she has like every single variety you could possibly want. And I would look at it and I would just be like, 
oh my god, this is crazy. I can't even figure out what to where to start. But she did. She had a sale for Easter, and I was like, okay, Holly. Like her clips are obviously gorgeous. Uh, Kiara loves them, and you trust Kiara's opinion. So let's try her out. And I'm so glad I did because her stuff is super nice. Like I said, I do think her shop's a little overwhelming to navigate because she just has so much stock. But that is awesome because you can pretty much find a clip for anything. I just happened to be like, oh, let me put bike in and see if there's a bike clip. And there was a bike paper clip and it was awesome. So um, I tried to get, she has a lot of gorgeous bow and floral paper clips. So I tried to get like a sampling of each just to like see kind of the style because um, she has like a few different styles. So this uh, is the first style. And this is like a gorgeous chiffon ribbon rose that is so pretty and has this little like chiffon green leaf on the background. And I just think this is stunning. And I like this a lot because it's soft and I wouldn't want to like put this on anything that's going to get too roughed up, but I think it could survive in a bag. Um, you know, the material is delicate, but it's soft. It's not a cardboard clip. So, um, you know, it'll, I think it'll hold up a little bit better to beatings and it's just gorgeous. I love that dusty pink color. And then let's stay with the floral theme here. She also has a lot of clips that are kind of like this, that are like little um, circle, kind of almost like a hydrangea feel. And I thought these were super cute. I will say on her website, it looks a lot more like three dimensional. Like it looks like all of these on the website, it looks like all of these kind of poke up, but in real life, it's a pretty flat clip. It doesn't really bother me too much, Just, but just a note if you're looking at it. This is made of all felt and it feels again, really sturdy. And the thing I love, like I said about the other one with felt clips is I don't fear um, bringing them around. You know, the beads might fall off if I stuck it in my traveler's notebook, but nothing too harmful. And I just, so I like that a lot. And I thought this was just really, really cute. And then the other floral I got was actually a floral on a bow. She has a lot like this too. And so I picked this up and this is a gorgeous, it's almost like the backing is like a material, like almost like a, like a canvas or a leather kind of thick material that's glitter. And then on top she puts a little pink felt bow. And I think that is, or sorry, a pink felt rose on top of the glitter bow. And I just think this looks so cute, really, really nice. Um, and it's like, again, it's that flexible material. Um, so I wouldn't be too worried about bringing this around with me. And I just think that's a really cute and different design. And then let's go on to the bows. And so I did get two of her bows. I think she's just started adding some bows like this to her shop. Um, I will say, I think I like my bows from K and Co XOXO a little better. They're just like a little fluffier. It feels, this feels just a little, doesn't feel that sturdy to me. I'm worried about it kind of coming apart, but I do think this color is really cute. And um, I love this style of bow in general. So that's really cute. And then I also got one, she has a lot of bows like this as well that are kind of like this, again, it's almost like, this is a slightly different material, but it's almost like a leather, it's like a very thick um, fabric material and then on this like glitter leather piece. Um, so that's really cool, but it's very flexible. I wouldn't be too worried about damaging it. Um, and I just think that looks really cool laying flat against your planner. Um, I just think this is very cute and something very different that I haven't seen from a lot of other clip shops. So I got all of those and I picked up a few little felty clips, not too many. I picked this up. I loved this for summer. It's like a mason jar of pink lemonade. I think lemon themes are really cute in the summertime. I haven't gotten any lemon kits yet, but I might have to. And I love mason jars in general. And so I just thought that was an adorable summertime themed kit or clip. And then I also got a bike and I thought, again, I just think it's, I think of biking very spring, summer. Um, my husband really likes to bike. I I enjoy biking, but I'm not very good at it, but I just thought this was cute. And I definitely have some kits that have bikes in them. So I think this will go perfectly with those. And then the final clips I got, this is very random. Christina, my friend, I don't know if you watch my hauls. I don't think you do, 
but I got one of these for you. So basically, if anybody else, this is, might be a total like inside joke kind of thing, but if anybody else plays the game on your phone called Neko Etsume, which is basically like this Japanese cat game, it's so bizarre. My friend Christina and I were like obsessed with it for like a year straight. And this is one of the characters from that game. The cat's name is Tubbs. And this is so clearly Tubbs that I bought the clip and I had to get one for her. Will I ever probably use this like, <laughs> like in an actual week? Probably not, but I'm just so glad to own it. I think it's so freaking funny. And Christina, when I see you at happy hour next week, I will definitely bring you your clip because it cracks me up. So that is everything from Sugar and Ivy. I just think that her stuff is really, really cute. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on her in the future. Super affordable. Once you kind of get over the stress of trying to navigate her Etsy shop, I think she has some great stuff. So definitely check her out. And that is it for the clips I have for now. I might be getting a one or two more in before this haul goes up, and if so, I will insert them here. Hello from the future. So I do have a few more things to share with you and these are planner supplies. So I did wanna just kinda come on and film one more little segment so that I could put them into this video. So I have two more sets of clips, one new shop, and then of course I have an order from Pengem. So let's do that first. So I got my order from the Pen Gems Simply Gilded collab. I was so excited. I'm sure you'll see this in a lot of different hauls, but um, so I'll just go through it quickly, but it was a collab with Simply Gilded. It was one of her designer collections. So I was super happy to pick this up and I was able to buy this because I'm on the like it email sign up and I think that they did end up selling out in that release so if you didn't get that um, definitely do sign up in the future and of course I have my invoice and my extra um, refills here but then and then it came with this adorable little new penguin clip which totally does look like a stormtrooper anyone else agree and then and then I have this lovely set of pen gems here and let's do the pens first I love the packaging Sorry, my desk is a total mess. I've been crafting a ton, which you will see next week on my channel, but my desk is like disgusting since I filmed the first half. So anyways, it comes in this box of three here. I mean, this packaging is stunning. Um, and I will say this, if it wasn't a designer release and I didn't, if I wasn't as stressed about it selling out, I probably wouldn't pick, have picked up all three of these. But if you did get the set of three, it did come with the extra bow washi. And I figured, you know what, I'll get all three and then I'll have them. But realistically, I know I probably only needed like one or two rainbow pen because the pen, the gems are just so rainbowy. They're not soft really. So I feel like it's going to be hard to use them with not colorful stuff. I don't know. But I do love the white ones. Probably my favorite. I just think it's so pretty with the rainbow. It's just like a rainbow bright pen. I just think it's so pretty. And then the pink is stunning as well. It has this really pretty soft pink. And then of course the rainbow gems again. And then we have the blue one here and same thing. And, and it does have the beautiful gold, I think it's like a gold chrome, I don't know what she calls it, but hardware, stunning, and it's so gorgeous. And then it came with this Simply Gilded Washi and it's a new bow washi. I think she released two blue ones. I honestly am not sure I'm gonna pick up the next one. TBD, we'll see. I thought I would get all the bow washies, but I don't use a ton of blues in my planner. I really like purples, but I don't use a ton of blues. So I'm not sure I need more than one blue. And I already have a medium tone blue and a navy blue bow washi. So if there's like another, I don't know that I need another blue besides this one, but this one was so pretty. The soft kind of periwinkle pastel blue. So stunning with the gold foil. Love this. Definitely glad I got this one. So that is the new pen gems release. And then let's get into the clips. Oh wait, guys, I forgot to show you the best part. As I always forget to show the gems on my pen gems. What's wrong with me? But look at those gems. How pretty are those? So anyway, that is it for the pen gems. Gorgeous, gorgeous release as always. The pen gems are amazing. Definitely check them out if you haven't. And definitely let me know what your favorite pen gems refill is. I am still not, I still have not placed an order from Jet Pens and I know I need to like ASAP. So let me know what your favorite refill is right now for your pen gems. I welcome the feedback. 
And then next up, we have this adorable little box from KN Co. XOXO. I have been loving her bows lately. It came packaged super cutely. I totally ruined it, as I always do. Um, but it was basically wrapped like in this tissue paper with this little like ribbon on top with like this little black stuff at the bottom. Just really, really nice attention to detail. I think it looks super chic when you open it. And I picked up a bunch of her ribbon bows and I did get some Traveler's Notebook charms as well since I have been enjoying my Traveler's Notebooks a lot lately. And so let's start with just the basic ribbon. So first up, I got this amazing almost, I think it's a gross green. I, th I think that's the word gauss green, gross green. You guys tell me, but it has like a really thick um, ridged texture and it's this beautiful, I would call it a champagne -y tan. It's like got almost like gray overtones. There's something like muted and gray about it, but the undertone is very like pale champagne tan colored. And then of course it has the gold glitter in the middle and the K & Co XO XO um, clips all come on these gigantic paper clips, which I just think is so fun and so different. So really, really excited about these. And yeah, so that's a classic bow. I got another classic bow, just this very simple purple. You guys know I am team purple. She released a new set of neutral ones for spring. I didn't get all of them because most of them were pretty plain, but had to grab the purple because I loved this soft purple color. And then I grabbed this one. This is a thicker fabric. It's like yeah, it's just, it's a thicker fabric. It's not like a true ribbon. I think it might be an actual fabric. And then she has like a velvet bow wrapped around it. And I thought this was just so pretty. And even though it's printed, I think it could go with a lot of different kind of like themes in a traveler's notebook or in a planner spread. So I wasn't too worried about using it. And I also decided, cause I liked that one enough. I also picked up the coordinating traveler's notebook charm. So this is a little charm that you can hang either on the front of your traveler's notebook or on the, I'll actually show you. This is one I haven't, um, it's not, there's no inserts in here. It's a sugar mochi and you can either put this here like that and that looks super cute and look, would look a lot cuter if I had inserts in there, but that looks adorable. Or you can hang it like right here. I'm not gonna do it right now because this is not full, so it's hard to use. But you can also hang it on these little elastics right there, which also looks adorable. So those are your options for your traveler's charms. And then I got a second one that's just plain pink, but has this beautiful, delicate pearl on it. I love this. I think this is so pretty. Look how pretty. And I have the regular ribbon for this, and I also have one that has gold glitter. Um, my ribbon's a little uneven, which is kind of annoying, but I'll survive. But look at that adorable little pearl. So freaking cute. And I just think that'll look so delicate, like on my sugar icing, or even on my boss babe, Kate. I have a couple of traveler's notebooks now. Very into them lately. So anyway, super excited about that. And then I got this final traveler's notebook charm that's very different from her other stuff. But this is this adorable little... Um, rose gold little bow. Let me show you on a different one here. So here's the icing, which still has like my cactus set up, but I'll just do it on the back. And look how freaking cute and delicate and pretty that is. Like that is just adorable with the little pearls at the bottom, the little kind of lopsided bow. I just think that's so cute. Very pretty, very delicate. And I, I, I think this would hold up okay in a bag. It doesn't seem like so delicate that it could break. So I would put this on a traveler's notebook and still put it in my bag. So I like that a lot. And that is in general what I love about her clips. They are the fabric material. And so even though they look super pretty and super dainty, they're, you know, they're totally fine. They're ribbon, they're fabric. So they hold up pretty well when they're in your bag. So I love her stuff, been super into it, especially since I've been playing around with my travelers a lot. And so that is everything from K and Co XO XO. Very cute. And then finally I have a new to me clip shop. And this one is Peach Palm. And Peach Palm is owned by Lena. And I think this has been around, she's been around like since I started getting into planning, I have been following her on Instagram. And somehow I just had never placed my first order. I had followed her for a while and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I need it. You know, they're just, I kind of, honestly, I was kind of like, oh, they're just little palms. Like they're nothing exciting. But now again, that I'm super into traveler's notebooks and also that I got one in the 1407 planners. I tried one of their boxes out and decorated my traveler's notebook with it. I'll leave that link below. And as part of their box, they had a peach palm 
clip in there and so I that was like my first time to try it and I kind of I kind of got the hype like they're super super sturdy for just being a palm and a paper clip because she actually like I think she winds it around there but then also they work so well in your travelers they just sit perfectly on top of your inserts they don't like you know they're not hanging around in your bag but they're still really cute and colorful I just really really like them so if you guys know me by now, you know when I find something I like, I go hard into it. Like I, there's, I'm not a person of moderation. So basically what I did was I picked up a couple of her charms, which I'll get into. And so she had a grab bag of 10. Let me start taking these out. And they were a lot more affordable if you just kind of bought it because it's kind of like a mystery bag than buying individual clips. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that and just kind of like, quote, build my stash and just try out a bunch of different ones from her. And I'm really glad I did. She was nice enough to say in the listing like that if you had some colors you wanted to request, she would try to fulfill that, like just a couple of colors, she said. If you wanted to request a couple of colors, she could try to put them into your grab bag, which was really nice. So I requested a pink and a purple because you guys know me, team purple, and then also I just feel like pink goes with everything these days um, that I use for my traveler's notebook. So she did meet that, which was super nice, and then she just kind of picked some other random colors, and I think it's like such a good assortment that I'm really glad I did it this way. First, let's just look at her little uh, ins uh, freebie here. We have her business card, really cute and foiled. And then she, I think she is doing some stickers now. She has this cute little bunny sticker, that's pretty cute. And then some hexagons and some little checklists, very cute. But then let us get into the palms. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. And so you can see the assortment I got. Um, I got this green one. This is probably a St. Patty's Day set. It's like a green one and an orange one. And the palms themselves, yeah, like I said, I think the clip actually literally goes through them and it's super sturdy. Like this, like I, you know, I talk about, oh, I'm comfortable using this clip in my traveler's notebook and I'm comf comfortable using this. This one, I would have literally no qualms. These will hold up to whatever you put them through. These are gonna be totally fine, totally sturdy. If you're worried at all about your clips, these are like, like when you're carrying like your heart on your, in your bags or whatever. These are the perfect ones to put on your planner because you're just, they're not gonna get messed up. They're just so simple that it's hard to, and they're also really durable feeling. So that's awesome. Then this one is super cute for fall or just any time actually, but this mustard color I think is just super fall and super pretty. And then the gray is an awesome neutral. This is a very cool tone gray, really pretty, really like that. And then these are perfect, honestly, for fall, for summer, whatever. There's this like kind of bright springy green and then this bright um, magenta that'll be perfect for summer. So that's awesome. Then here you get a cream, which is a great neutral, and then like a muted lighter blue, really like that. And then here are the ones I uh, requested. This purple one's like a little smaller, which is kind of cute. A little purple one, and then this nice big fluffy pink one. And then I also did, because I was placing an order, went ahead and picked up some of her Traveler's Notebook charms. Like I said, actually these could be used on a personal planner too. But like I said, just been super into Traveler's Notebooks lately. And, I picked this one up first. This one is stunning. It's this swan one. I was kind of disappointed. She had the same thing in purple and she was out of the purple, but the pink one was really pretty too. And actually it matches this pink that I got. So I'm kind of glad I have that now. Um, but it has this amazing swan charm. And then it has these three different lengths of palms. And at the end, there's like a little gold dot to hold it on there, which I think is just a nice little touch. And these, I just think this is so fun. This one, I do worry a little bit more about being in your bag. So let me know. Oh, wow. Look at the back of the swan. Can you guys see that on camera with my craft? Happy lighting it's like um, has holes in it but like really cool um, that's cool so anyway but have you guys if any of you have used these on your planners and left them in your bag let me know how it's held up and then I also got another one that was a more simple charm this one I'm not as worried about because it doesn't have like but now let's go ahead and move on to an order for washi from simply gilded I was super excited about this um, and this was her new Foxy release. I got it on the first day she released it because um, if you sign up for her newsletter, you can get access to it and you also get a discount code, which was awesome. 
Although I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of bummed to see that when she did the individual release in her shop, she had like a free roll of washi that like you couldn't even buy. It was like this fox washi, but in pink. And I was like so bummed that I missed that, but that is okay. And so let me go ahead and get everything unwrapped. I'll just show you, they do come wrapped like this with the little metallic label and with um, shrink wrap on the outside, but I love these. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them all so I can show you. And so before we get into the washies, I forgot to show you this gorgeous journaling card that came with the order. It says, go get it gorgeous. And it has rose gold foil on it. And it has a cute little lipstick. I love these. I love that she's doing vertical ones now. So I think they're so easy to use like as a dashboard in a personal planner or something like that. Really, really cute. And then of course her little business card is always really nice as well. This is actually really gorgeous paper. That is like really gorgeous paper. But anyway, the um, items I got in the order, First up, I did pick up her new, um, this Foxy release that I was talking about. I love this. I think it is so beautiful. Um, so it was the set of four and I'll show you all of them. The first one maybe is my favorite. It is this washi with tiny little adorable foxes on it. And the foxes have eyelashes and little tails with little touches of rose gold foil. It is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful muted teal gray blue color that I'm obsessed with. I think it is so beautiful. I have a the kit um like the fox kit from Two Little Bees that I know is going to pair beautifully with this, so I'm definitely going to match those two together. And then the next thing that came in it was this adorable thin washi. I love that this is a thin bow washi and it is kind of like a lopsided bow and the bows are in rose gold foil. The, all the, the theme of this release was I think all rose gold foil pretty much, hence the journaling card. But they're like, it's a very petite bow and I love that it's a slightly skinnier washi because I think those are really fun to have um, and they're just so gorgeous. And then there was also this amazing skinny washi. This is this was like just this set was so on point and like so well curated. This is like these gorgeous little vines in rose gold and with little hearts in that same beautiful kind of muted gray blue teal color so pretty and then the final one feels like it doesn't quite fit in as much to me but it's still really really cute and that is this kind of beauty themed one this is probably my least favorite but it's still really cute and it has like all these lipsticks and nail polishes and diamonds and things again in the rose gold foil and it's on a beautiful pink background so all of those are just stunning of course irene kills it as always with her washies and then I also picked up, she had this kind of two fur set that was a pen and a new bow washi. And you guys know if there's a new bow, bow washi, I am all over it. And so first up though, the pen is one of those gorgeous gem on the end pens and it has rose gold hardware. And then the body is this really pretty pink color. Um, so nice. Let me get a piece of paper to demonstrate. We'll write on my once more with love envelope sneak peek what's coming up in the video. Yeah, so it's a basic ballpoint, but this is just so cute and will look awesome um, on your desk. Just totally glam, really gorgeous. And then there is also a new bow washi. You guys know I love my classic pink bow washi like everybody else I think in the planner community, but this one has a rose gold foil bow as opposed to a plain gold foil. I will go ahead and show you it next to the other one. So here is the new one. And then there are actually two gold uh, foil bows in existence. This is the original, which is like a very harsh gold. And you can see the pink slightly paler and it's a much harsher gold. And then this is more of the champagne gold, which I believe was the re-release of the gold bow. So those are the three pink and gold uh, or pink bow washies and so this is the new one with the rose gold the harsher gold and then that pale champagne one they're all stunning honestly i use this stuff enough that i'm not even ashamed to own all three and i know that i will totally use them all so gorgeous as always love simply gilded check her out if you haven't i mean if you haven't where have you been but um yeah gorgeous stuff 
And so now let's go ahead and move into the stickers. And since I already showed you the envelope, I'll get out my once more with love order. I did save this envelope because I thought it was so gorgeous, but I don't know what I'd use it for. Um, but I just placed a fairly small order, but I did want to pick up some of her new post-it notes. She did do a pre-sale for the post-its, but I decided not to do the pre-sale because they just seemed kind of pricey and I wasn't sure that I need like a lot of them came in like packs of three and stuff and I wasn't really sure I needed that many, but I was happy that she brought some of them to the shop. So I went ahead and picked those up. I actually picked up two of this little munchkin one, but I had already gotten one out to start using. Um, but so I loved these little to-do list ones that have the little munchkin peeking out and then room to check it off. And then I got just one of these. It's this gorgeous pink floral that says just a note and has the little munchkin in the corner peeking out as well. And then I already like dove into these and forgot to get, show you guys the card that came with it. It is a gorgeous, like really big, really, really big, bigger than like a personal sized planner, I think. Um, once more with love note card. I don't know where to put this, but I definitely have to save it because it's so freaking cute. I love this. And of course, Marge does her hand lettering on the back, which is always so sweet. And I just really, really like that. And it also came with this adorable freebie. And I always save these because I think these are just a lot of fun and give you some sneaks as to what's coming up. And then for the munchkins I ordered, I just ordered some of her new releases and restocked on one thing. So first up, I got her new ice cream release. I love ice cream. Ice cream is my favorite dessert. I always go for ice cream in the summer and get froyo or whatever. Um, and yeah, so I definitely had to pick that up, even though I don't know how much I'll use it, but it's so cute. I love it. Then I picked up a, another one of her dog sheet because I'm already like quickly going through mine because we just got a dog a couple months ago and I really, really like these. I think they're, I love the variety of activities she shows. It's just really cute. And then I picked up her uh, ramen sheet. I am obsessed with ramen. I actually make like at home ramen like embarrassingly once a week. Um, I've gotten super addicted to it. Uh, and I also really like going out for ramen. So Obviously, any ramen addict needs this. I love that this one, I don't know if you can tell, but I think it's holding a sriracha bottle, which I think is hilarious because I love putting sriracha on my ramen. And then this is not a new release, but I just was like going through my collection. I realized it didn't have this. It is basically like a girl munchkin and a boy munchkin and a little heart in between. So it's perfect for like anything I'm doing with my husband and the hearts are just like a fairly neutral color. So you can kind of bring this in for whatever. It doesn't just have to be date night. It could be, you know, I don't know, anything you're doing just hanging out. So I was like, how do I not own those? So I picked that up. And then the final sheet I snagged was this little happy birthday sheet. Um, I had one that had like a countdown and like is meant more for your own birthday, but she, Marge said she redesigned this one to be for other people's birthdays, which is perfect. It has like one that says happy birthday, ones with cakes, ones with presents, present stack, a little um, noisemaker. And I just thought that was super cute to mark other people's birthdays. So just had to place a little order here uh, from Once More With Love and you guys know I love my munchkins. So that is it from that order. And then next up for stickers, I have a fairly new to me shop, or no, a completely new to me shop. I've been following her for so long though that it doesn't feel new to me, but I had never made an order and that is from Simply Watercolor Co. And um, she is another shop that has a Shopify site and she is not on, or maybe she's on Etsy too, but I believe her pricing's better on Shopify. And I have been, like I said, following her forever. I always see her in like, I think Jasenia uses her stuff a lot. Sometimes Kiara does. And I've seen her a lot because she has a ton of foiled stickers, but I hadn't placed my own order yet. But so I was really excited to try her out. Um, and yeah, let me go ahead and dive in. So first up is the freebie sampler. It's really cute, but I was really bummed to see that everything is actually totally miscut. Like that's supposed to be the bow paper clip, but it's not. So, um, you know, it's always nice for shops to include freebie samplers. It's not mandatory by any means, but this is kind of like, oh, okay. This is not that nice, but that's okay. It's a really cute design um, for what it is. And then I just picked up some of uh, like a variety of her foiled stuff. 
I will be perfectly honest with you guys, the reason I had not bought from her previously is that I thought she was kind of overpriced. Um, and I still kind of think that. I think her stuff is gorgeous and really, really cute, but I think compared to some other foiled stuff on the market, she's just, especially for her icons, I don't think necessarily for her kits, but for her icons, I think she just comes in like a little too high. That's just my personal opinion, especially since she doesn't have as good of discount codes as some other shops. So. Just my take. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but her foiling is a gorgeous and she has some really pretty stuff that I'm excited to use. So I do think it's worth checking her out, but that is just a note for like what I would call more like foiled basics. She probably like for like just basic icons and stuff, she would not be my first stop. But for like really special foiled kits or like you'll see these date covers are stunning. Um, I think she is definitely worth checking out. So anyway, first up we have this little sheet of laptops. I don't know why like I don't know if this should have been cut off or what but really cute just cut out laptops and in the center they have a little gold foil heart I just think that is adorable to mark down editing interneting whatever really cute and that's like her multicolor color line and then she also has these little bag shopping bag doodles which I love to mark going shopping or whatever and it has a little gold foil heart in the bottom corner very cute and then these are some of her newer releases. I think she's calling them like her foodles, like her foiled doodles, but these are little foiled nail polishes. They're so, and they have a little tiny bow on them. They are so cute. I love the neutral color scheme for this sheet. It's just stunning. Um, I think these are so pretty. But again, like you're only getting like 18 stickers on here and it's, and it was fairly like pricey, I thought. I mean, they're obviously big stickers, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think that they're pretty. So, you know, do what you want with your money. Um, and so next is this also in this gorgeous neutral color scheme. These are bows, and I will admit, I did not like register that they were little flags, not just actual cutout bows, but I think the flag is actually adorable, so I don't care. I just like didn't realize that when I was ordering it. Um, and again, that adorable neutral color scheme, love this. And then I got one sheet of these. These are her like cutout words. And these are really cute. It's on this like kind of pinky purple background and they just kind of cut out and it's like, this one says Target. She has a total, she has a good variety on here. She has like coffee break, date night, movie night, payday, laundry, relax with a bath. That's really cute. Girls night, all of these are awesome. The only thing I'll note is that some of them, it's a little hard to read what it says, but I think like if you think about it for a second, it's, it's totally fine. But these are so cute. I wish she would sell like some of them as individual sheets like Bill Do or, um, like even birthday or girls night, like I would totally buy individual sheets of those. Those are really, really cute. And then finally I got some of her stunning date covers. These are gorgeous. So the first one I got was like this neutral color scheme and it has these like brush stroke backgrounds and then the foil over top says what day it is. But I just love these brush strokes. I just thought these were so pretty and so glam. And it is a full, this is what I always look for with date covers that are like a brush stroke. It is a full rectangle, so it's super easy to just like place on top of your header, but it still looks like it's floating, which I really like that effect. Um, and these are so gorgeous and you get some extra little like kind of brush stroke appointment boxes there as well because she just did the full row. And I do like that her date covers do come with their own set of uh, foiled numbers, which I love. You get two full months worths, which was really nice. So that was, I consider that a nice um, perk. And then I got this more like lighter color scheme. I forget what she called it, but it's kind of has this um, pale blushy off white. Uh, it's this kind of army and pink that's really cool. And then this pink one. And I just thought these were so gorgeous. Really, really nice foiling on here. Really, really pretty. So that my camera just cut me off as I was finishing up Simply Watercolor Co. But anyway, that is it for this order. I really, really like this. I'm excited to try her out. I do want to try out one of her foiled kits as well before I make a full judgment. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys have checked her out down below. And if not, give her a look. And so next up is a one of my favorite shops, which is Shop Jessica Hearts, and it is this Spring in Bloom kit. And I loved this kit when I first saw it. I was like just totally obsessed, so I went ahead and picked it up. And I did get a couple of add-ons, but first I'll just go through the base kit. 
I did pick it up in matte this time. I do typically get her stuff in glossy, but I was like doing a flip through, or I was like looking at some old spreads and I had touched one of hers that was matte and I was like, oh, I really like her matte paper. And her matte's more affordable. And so I was like, you know what? Let me give this kit a go in matte. And it's totally gorgeous. It's a really, papery premium matte, which I really like. I find it very comfortable to use um, and is just really nice. Although some of these, yeah, no, this is fine. Never mind. Um, but yeah, this is just, it's so, it feels really, really, yeah, papery is the right word. I really, I like this feeling. I think some people prefer like a more rubbery premium matte, but I really like that feel. It's really nice. So Anyway, let me walk you through this kit. So on the first page, you get your headers. I like the font she chose for this. You get your eight half boxes and then you get this. Oh my God, guys, look at that weekend banner, right? Like how freaking stunning is that? I'm sad I just like lifted the entire thing up and it's gonna be hard to get it back in. But oh my God, so gorgeous. And then next up are her ombre heart checklists. And this one, she put a little gold glitter at the bottom. I think that is a cute little touch. And then here you get your little things, some quarter boxes and appointment boxes, just a small selection of icons, some big flags and some vildus. Here you have your gorgeous bottom washi. Look at that, that is just stunning. And then you get your regular washi, a good mix of plain and printed. That bottom washi though, right? Um, and then here are the full boxes, so gorgeous. Love this girl with the bun in her hair. I like that it's not like a full girl face, it's just like, you know, a, a bun extra. I think that's really cute. And then you get all these kind of like wood grain backgrounds, the really cute quote box. I love these so much, gorgeous. And then here you have this like kind of functional sheet. So you get a couple of weekly ombres, some flags for the top corner, some sidebar headers, some functional deco and your date covers and habit trackers. Love all of these, totally stunning, really, really gorgeous. And then I also picked up the add-on that has an extra box in a different hair color. So if you are a blonde, you could use that, but it just gives you an extra full box. She has some deco, she has her regular heart checklist, and then she has these um, glitter headers as well. I thought it'd be super fun to try to use that to stretch the kit to over two weeks. So I'll do a plan with me squared with this since I did get the extra add-on. And then I also picked up for this release, she did do this kind of coordinating. She did a, a set of coordinating appointment labels and a coordinating um, laptops. I didn't get the laptops because I don't have a Mac and I just, I didn't feel like I needed those, but these labels were so cute and I thought I could bring them into other spring kits too. And even if not, I just think they're another nice way to stretch this kit and they're just so freaking cute. I, for some reason, I got the appointment labels in glossy, but I got everything else in matte. So I'm not sure what my thought process was there. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and picked those up too. So that is it from Shop Jessica Hearts. Love this stuff, so beautiful. Okay guys, so that is pretty much everything for this haul. Love all these planner supplies I got. I totally need to put myself on a clip hold going forward. I've gotten so many clips lately, but I'm just obsessed with them because they're like a fun, reusable way to add stuff to your planner. But anyway, I digress. Hope you guys enjoyed this planner supplies haul. Give it a thumbs up if you do. I love hearing from you guys down below. Let me know if you've tried out these shops, what clips you're loving lately or what stuff you're picking up for the summer. And definitely go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!